With the Pyeongchang Winter Olympics coming to a closure, the team of North Korean athletes and the cheerleading squad returned home on Monday, not knowing if they would ever see the South Korean team again. Our Kwon Jang Ho with more on the emotional goodbyes. 19 days after the North Korean cheering squad arrived in the South, grabbing the world's attention with their rhythmic and enthusiastic cheers, it was time to go home. The group looked relaxed and cheerful, even posing for the odd photo with the hotel staff. As they boarded the bus to travel to the border, they expressed their hopes of meeting again. It was a historic occasion and let's meet again. We cheered strongly. Let's continue working to become one and rise up for our people. The hotel staff, who have seen them up close over the past couple of weeks, came out to see them off, offering their warm wishes. I don't know what it will be, but if we can meet each other again, I hope they remember us. I hope they saw the good sides of our country and take with them good feelings. The cheering squad met up with the North's Olympic athletes at the border checkpoint, including the figure skating pair Ryom Taeok and Kim Jushik, as well as the members of the unified ice hockey team. They passed on further messages of goodwill. After working together for this past month, I strongly felt that if our people join forces, we will be able to achieve anything we want. And although the group of nearly 300 North Koreans return north, it won't be long before another sporting delegation and cheering squad heads to the south. North Korea is sending a 150-member delegation for the Pyeongchang Paralympics, which starts March 9th. Kwon Jang-woo, Arirang News.